What's up guys, it's Colin here with Up North Outdoors. I hope you guys are all surviving the quarantine. Uh, I've been sick, sick the last few days, so this is really my first time getting out and about, getting outside and enjoying this beautiful day. It is so warm out. I'm just wearing a sweatshirt, a thin sweatshirt and this uh, little quarter zip, and I'm hot right now. It is a nice day out. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting some putting some hours on these new shirts, a couple hours on each one. Before I get into today's video, I would just like to let you guys know that since a lot of you guys have been quarantined, I've been basically in quarantine and basically been stuck in the house a lot until now I'm feeling a little bit better, but I'm still basically stuck at home a lot, not really gonna be able to get much for truck parts unless I order them online, which I probably will be doing here. But I'm doing some streaming on Twitch. It's Up North Indoors on Twitch TV. You guys, uh, I'll have a link in the description below. So I'm gonna be streaming probably most evenings. Most evenings, sometimes in the afternoon or morning if I'm not feeling good. But most evenings I'll be streaming. If you guys wanna hop on, you guys can, we can talk about your guys' builds that you are working on. I'll be talking about my builds. You guys can ask me questions about the channel, the truck builds, Sherp stuff, whatever. Or you can just come and hang out, have a good time. Basically what I'm doing is I'm going to be working these clutches pretty hard uh, because sometimes they're not adjusted quite right out of the factory. So I'm going to put about two hours on it, test out these clutches and if they end up pulling one way or the other or not, not as tight as they should be, I'm going to put down some notes, give it to our mechanic so that he can uh, adjust them right before we send them off to our customers. I'm sweating. It is nice out. It is so nice out. All right, let's go get cooped up in a shed and work on the phones. <laughs> Hear that? Diesel. <laughs> so I actually didn't get the cold start for once on camera because I didn't think it was gonna start. I threw the other battery that I cannibalized and put in the Jeep. I threw it back in the Ford. And it wah, 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 wasn't gonna start. I'm like, you know what? Let's try throwing this little battery pack on it that I did that sponsor video on a couple videos back. And I didn't expect it to start, so I didn't take the camera out. She fired right up. Crazy. I'm very impressed. Very impressed.
Cool. Love the smell of diesel. Definitely gonna need some work, but it has no rust. Like at all. Even the inside of the bed. I mean, it's pretty beat up in the bottom, but I'd probably throw throw a mat down in here when I'm done done with it anyway. But it's it's pretty pristine. Not gonna lie. Oh, I got some mud on it. That's what I hate about springtime here is we get so much snow, and then we just get these warm days and it melts so quick that the ground just. It just turns into soup everywhere. That's why we finally uh, actually paved the driveway back at my parents' house. They paved it just because it would turn into driveway turn into a mud run every spring, and it'd get bad. Some of you guys might have noticed my uh, windshield is. Pretty cracked. And I'm kind of missing a, missing a glove box. Uh, I was trying to think of some excuse or whatever to make for it. Cause it's been like this for a couple months now and I'm sure you guys have noticed. But I just can't lie, lying's not really my nature. Um, I was just being stupid and immature. I was having, I know you guys probably don't care, but I was having a rough night. Uh, missing my best friend that took his life last summer. And I was just having a really rough night and I was mad and I threw my plastic shifter knob because I was sitting in my truck and I didn't think it would but it cracked my windshield and then after my windshield was already cracked I just didn't really care at that point and cracked a little bit more. So that's why my windshield is cracked. It was dumb. I definitely regret it now. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to explain that so I'm not trying to hide, hide the windshield, the broken windshield with my camera anymore. But on a happy note, if you guys haven't seen the other video already, I got the gauges mounted finally that have been sitting in here forever. I finally got them mounted and wired up good enough for now. So those work, I can actually uh, see my exhaust temp gauge now and my pressure and everything like that. So I don't have to uh, worry about melting down my motor or at least I can watch it melt down. Sorry about the noise, the heater should shut off soon. But we got these, uh, I, I don't know the exact name for them, but we have them here in the shirt farm and we use them on the pipeline too, the welders did. But uh, man, these are my new favorite thing to use to work on my truck. Cause you can raise them up, you got this whole platform that you can stand and walk on instead of a ladder, you're not just stuck in one spot. You can walk around and boom, I can actually work on my motor um, without having to stand on the tire or just on like a chair or a step ladder or something that I have to move every single time I want to get to a different position. Definitely worth the money if you got a lifted truck. Had to make a run into town. So it's gotten a little later in the day now. Oh, it looks good to have a bed on this truck again, even though it's not even sitting on here quite right, but still just makes me happy. So what I have been doing is, well, use about four or five cans of brake clean. Then I've been brake cleaning the absolute crap out of my power stream pump because it's just crud everywhere built up on it. I literally wore like a mask because I was getting sick. Um, and then I started up my truck and now it's not leaking. So I'm gonna turn it and max it out and hold it there for a few seconds. Do the same thing other way and really work work this pump. 
and see if I can spot where this thing has been leaking from because it definitely has been leaking to the point where usually I'd have to fill it up with power steering fluid every single day before I drove it so it was leaking bad obviously and uh but now today when I drove it in here it was it never it didn't leak out it was still full well, this is looking to be kind of disappointing and definitely not what I hoped it to be, but it's kind of looking like it's building up fluid on the bottom of the seam on the power steering pump. You guys probably can't see this. I'm trying to shove you guys up there, but it looks like it's the, from what I can tell, it's not leaking much, but it's just a little wet down there. I'm gonna, let me stick my finger on that. Yeah. Yeah, dang it, that is power stream fluid. Unless it was just, I don't think, let me wipe that clean, just to make sure it's not, because I mean, I've spilt it a lot with the bajillion times I've filled that thing up. I'm, I'm pretty sure I hit that spot with brake clean, but let me wipe it off with a paper towel and spray it and get it dry, 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 dry in that spot. And then I'm gonna fire it up and I'm gonna work that pump again. And if it's wet there again, then yeah. My pump, which was really, I was really hoping that it would just be um, some kind of one of the hoses or something or what you have it that's leaking, but so I don't have to replace this pump because it is tight in here. It is really, really tight in here. Oh. And it's not, it's not gonna be fun replacing that pump at all. It's probably gonna be extremely frustrating. One good thing though, is I made a post on some of the OBS pages. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably see it because I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably on those OBS pages. But I've got a couple possible hookups on fenders and tailgate and uh, some people that are willing to ship because one, it's hard to find anything less free in Minnesota. And two, I don't really wanna be driving around medium people, stuff like that with all the crap that's going down right now. But if I could get some fenders shipped here and a tailgate shipped here, start throwing those like, I could be painting, I get this truck painted during this quarantine. So this could actually end up being a somewhat productive quarantine. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. Sorry guys, I've been honestly been spending most of my time out here actually just on my phone because I've been uh, looking to be getting some possible hookups for fenders and tailgate that I can get shipped here. So can really start getting some some real progress done in this truck. And hopefully we painted it. This is a really bad idea. It's all so right, for sale. Ten years old and look like hell. All my friends said don't. I replied, oh lord. I'm oh, bad for Stores my tools can haul a load But it drinks up gas And now I'm broke well, I jack it up Put on lip tit Off-road tires And be logs on Dude, it's got a little attitude Ain't it grand It does the mud It wells the sand It defines me who I am It's more than practical It's a statement If you ever think of sailing Good luck American made and it's my truck Before I was just another guy Might look like I had that just for show Cause it'll dust up and it work road I jacked it up, put on a lifted Off-road tires would be logs on But it's got a little attitude, ain't it grand? It does a much the sand. It defines me who I am It's more than practical It's a 
statement if you ever think I'll send it good luck. American made, and it's my truck. Yeah. Oh.